Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Rex. And this is Cole. And we're going to talk about uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition that's coming out on May 14th. Mm. Um... Have you? I've played all the Mass Effects. Have you played any of the Mass Effects? No, oh. I haven't. Um, I've seen them. I've I've kind of been interested in them a little bit just through like. Do you play or... RPGs at all? I I play RPGs. I just play the ones with the J in front. Oh, oh yeah, you're a JRPG person. Yes, I am opposite. I prefer Western RPGs mm. most of the time. I do play some JRPGs. I really like Final Fantasy, but uh, the new one. But, but I mostly am a Western RPG fan, I would say. Especially mm. Bioware. Not recently, but been a, like the early, especially the early days of uh, Bioware, I've, I'm a huge fan of. I've played all, pretty much all their games. So, Even the Sonic one? No, I haven't played the Sonic one. You, need, you don't play the Sonic one, but you need to play the Sonic one. I hear that's pretty good, actually. I hear is it good? I, I've heard the opposite, but oh, okay. Oh, is it really bad? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, again, I, I don't have any interest in it. Other than yeah, it Sonic existing. RPG doesn't sound too fun for me, personally. So, mm-hmm. I'd rather play with Shepard. Yeah, Mass fair Effect. enough, fair enough. Look how cool Shepard looks. Look at this guy. Yeah, you look, at, look at him. Look at his, look like, his armor. Freaking, the N7. Yeah. Just, his ar- if, you, can, you can see the pecs in his armor. It's freaking rad. Like, you you can see, to know, like, true Mass Effect fans, people have Mass Effect gears with N7 on it once in a while. Mm. And he goes like, oh, that's my buddy. That's the guy who with another Mass Effect fan. So mm. I'll just say. Anyway, the uh, new one's coming out, but they are making some changes. Apparently, the, the combat is going to be more like 2 and 3. They're trying to update the combat in 1. Um, they were about... They were... Uh, 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 gonna update the UI on, on one, but they had issues with it, so they're gonna try to keep it the same wise UI, but it's gonna be uh, more controlled like Mass Effect 2 and 3, which is more live action type of combat. So, while one was more traditional turn, more, tr- I would say more traditional turn based combat, even though you could fight live, but uh, it's not, you, you would have to slow down certain actions to get the most out of it, I would say. Kind of like mm-hmm. a Dragon Age 1, where it was more turn-based, even though you could play it like live action. 2 and 3 of Dragon Age was much more real-time combat, and it's more playable that way. While 1 in Mass Effect, you have to, you have to think about it, you, have to, you, have to, you might want to pause time for a little bit and, and, and queue up your next move and so on. Okay, so Mass Effect has a little bit. I thought it was just a third-person shooter. It 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 is it is a third-person shooter, but it it does you can pause time and mm-hmm. like queue up your next move and stuff like that. I see, I see. You can almost play it turn-based if you want. If you want to play turn-based, you can pretty much play it turn-based. Hmm. That actually kind of sounds like a uh, actually kind of sounds like the Final Fantasy kind of play style that that the new one. Mm, no, it's a little different. You gotta check it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not the new Final Fantasy is more modern, I would say. Uh, yeah, that's why I like the new Final Fantasy. It's more live action combat, so I would say. Uh, but uh, there are gonna be changes to it. Uh, apparently, there's gonna be some censorship. Uh, oh yeah. They're gonna cut no, back no on butts. the butt shots. Apparently, no more to butts. PC gamer. Uh, and I hear rumors they're going to cut out some um, spicy scenes, I would say. Uh, Commander Shepard. Romantic uh, rendezvous, <laughs> I would say. Uh, Commander Shepard's romantic rendezvous. Yeah, I think that's, there's been rumors about they're going to cut some of those. Some of them won't be available or uh, more cut short for some mm-hmm. reason. I guess it's, it's, it's not to trying to be more family friendly, I guess. Probably trying to get Does the it? overseas crowd in. You know how it goes. Is that the overseas crowd? Uh, some of them. I, guess, sure. I mean, I guess there's a lot of people overseas. That's Yeah, fair. some of them for sure. Like, certain nations are very, like, you know, conservative, I would say. Yeah, they, don't like, they don't like, the, they don't like the booty. <laughs> so, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, like a, I'm not a huge fan of 
the shots or anything, but I don't like when the, they cut content at all from the originals. If they're going to do a remaster. Is this a remaster or a re remake? No, this is a remaster. Apparently remasters is you just update the old stuff. And remake is you just build it all from the ground up. Which they didn't do for those games. They're all just... They're just trying to make it all 4K friendly with higher frame rates. And, so they just up all the stuff. Yeah, they're trying to up everything and uh, make the combat better on one. And we'll see. And there's some co cut content. So we'll see what the, the real actual product is later. Did, did, did they like change the model so that the butts are smaller? No, I don't think they did. They just uh, tried to cut out the angles. Yeah. That, that so seems you like can't it's just like thing to do. Yeah. You can't just oogle or whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Why would I even play this game then? They're also missing some DLC. There's not gonna be a Mass Effect uh, three multiplayer. There's not gonna be a Mass Effect one Pinnacle Station DLC. Which is a real shame. I don't like when they cut content, but uh that's the direction they're going. Especially on like probably what's a uh, pretty low budget remaster. Like, you know, they could have just left it in if they're just upresing stuff. Uh, so I, but the thing is, this, this game is gonna be a great value. It's gonna be like sixty bucks, and you get all three Mass Effects. And if you're a true fan, you'll probably get it. Mm. And I'm, I'm looking, thinking about pre-ordering. I'm gonna pre-order if there's like an actual like huge discount or a discount before. Release date, which they sometimes do. They cut. Usually, it's like you can get ten dollars cheaper, like fifty bucks instead of sixty. Uh, if you pre-order in certain like time frames, mm. um, we'll see if that happens. But I don't know. I don't generally pre-order, so it's kind of. But do do I need to play this on day one? That's also another question. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I want to play it like three months later. If I'm going to want to play it three months later, I'm going to just hold up and not pre-order. I don't know. It's depending on my schedule and uh, everything else in my life. How about you? You, you, you going to try it out? I'd like to say yes. But? But probably no. What's your why, What's your uh, beef with the Mass Effect, dude? Uh I don't know why. I, I mean, honestly, shot. this is this isn't really. A, I don't have a beef with Mass Effect. It actually, cause it's one of those things. It's more just like at a grander scale, right? Like, there's a lot of games out there. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I do actually think it's interesting. I, I've kind of like had. My, I think like, you like too. Yeah, everyone, lo everyone loves Mass Effect too. It's it's one of those games like you, you're given the side eye a little bit. You know, you're like, hmm, that looks good over there. But uh, I've never really. You never really had the opportunity to do it. I've just kind of been like, well, I have all these other games. I'll probably play those. Do you do you uh, do you like Star Wars? <laughs> no, actually, well, I don't. Maybe that's like why Star you don't like Mass maybe Effect. Mass no, Effect not... has some Star Wars elements to it for sure. Does it? It seems more like it's grounded. Like honestly, like the Star Wars or the the, the Mass Effect universe seems a lot more, uh, like normal i guess like like it seems like okay space would kind of like if we got to space travel it got to me you know it's still fantastical but it's like feels a little bit more like nobody's got like you know space magic for example nobody's throwing oh. swords at each other no people have space magic and oh okay well then maybe maybe that is why i don't like it i just <laughs> knew I, I secretly knew no you could definitely there there's called uh there's things called biotics and they could like uh to use force powers, pretty much. Oh, got it, got it. Well, yeah, and I heard the ending was kind of weird too for well, three. Yeah, it's not great, but uh, you know, the, as a trilogy, it's, it's definitely like a masterpiece. I would say, uh, masterpiece. All, all three together, it's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, they kind of. I feel kind of robbed with the ending a little bit still, but. Uh, I mean, it still hurts. the thing is, it provided hours of gameplay, enjoyable gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad the ending. It's they've kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Um, yeah, but yeah, the it 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 definitely. Uh, I would say in general, it hit uh, 
rejuvenated the RPG market in general because of this game, the Mass Effect series. So, well, especially uh, live action RPGs kind of thing, and which is which is the them. popular genre of RPGs right now. I would say, it's yeah, not the turn based. No, and honestly, I do think that, like. A lot of JRPGs, just RPGs in general, are leaning more towards a action-based combat system yeah. because there's no real reason not to, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like the turn-based thing was kind of uh, made to allow for larger games because turn-based is simple. You can have, you can still have strategy and like have really long experiences. Now you don't need that anymore. You can make uh, like near automata, right? That's de- that's basically like you know platinum Devil May Cry, you know that kind of stuff. Like character action combat, um, but there's still are you know there's still like RPG mechanics built into it. There's levels. You, you don't need your RPG to be like Final Fantasy anymore. So there's no real point to do that unless like you really want to make the combat like you really like turn based combat. Yeah. So I'm, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably pick it up at one point or another within the year. Uh, don't know when, but uh, we'll definitely talk more about it when it comes out. And if if they cut more stuff out, we'll talk about that too. Mm. So thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, catch you guys next time. All right. Yeah. See you later.